I'm here at Edinburgh Napier University on their Sight Hill campus where the Bermier Bears will be training later this evening. But first, I caught up with Graeme Shield, head coach of the Bears, to hear his thoughts on their start to the season. Graeme Shield, head coach of Bermier Bears. Over the years, I've been involved post playing um, uh, with rugby development. Uh, I've been involved coaching in clubs, I've been involved in academies, I've been involved in sevens, both male and female and age grade programmes. So um, I think, I guess, through the, the years, quite a lot, a lot of years, uh, I've done a number of different things throughout Scottish rugby as a player and as a coach. Um, I'm really enjoying being part of a club. Uh, it's nice to be uh, belonging and, uh, and having that uh, immersion in, in a club. And Burramuir have been fantastic. The concept of Super Six has really been uh, a, a, a shot in the arm for the club, I suspect, in terms of where it was, where it was, and to where it's trying to achieve uh, in its, its improvement and its development. Building a program has, has really been enjoyable, and we're starting to see things taking shape now, which is really pleasing. But we've still got a long way to go. Going back to when you did recruit the squad, was it was it difficult considering there was three teams from Edinburgh and you're trying to pull from the same group of players? Yeah, I think the, the, the just generally the, the, the players in terms of um, there was a bit of misconception around Super Six and what it was actually there to do and, and how it was all going to pan out. Um, and it was hard work to try and recruit players and and, and try and package the, the vision that we had as coaches to be able to you know, effectively recruit players and what was it going to look like and there was a lot of uncertainty around Super 6 and, and its concept and I think now that we're, we're into the, the thrust of it, I think there's, there's, the reality is becoming very much what we, we, we all had hoped, it's very competitive. Um, I, it was tough at, at times um, but I think we all got across the line one way or another. So I guess in theory it should be a, a closer competition. Uh, there, there's always going to take time to settle. There's always going to be a team, I'm sure, who will who will who will be uh, in front. Watsons are leading the charge at the moment, closely followed by Ayrshire Bulls. So, um, it, yeah, I think it'll take time to settle. Uh, hopefully, it will be con continue to be close um, because I think the the standard has been certainly more physical. It's maybe not been um, as as open and as expansive as as maybe we would wish. But at the same time, the physicality has been a real step up, and I think that's been the big difference around the score. They're all bigger, they're all physically uh, more developed. Um, our training programmes are reflecting that. I think all the teams will be working hard on, on strength and power, which has an impact on performance. Um, and you know, over time, the, 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 the rugby will catch up and hopefully we'll start to see a brand which is uh, equal to the physicality. What have you made of the performances so far, three games in? We've, we've had a lot of good, a lot of good parts to our performances. Um, there's been a real resilience and a real strength in, in, um, in the work rate and the effort of the players. I think that's been the most pleasing for me. Um, against the Stirling in the first game, we really were, you know, we were taking a standing count, and uh, the guys showed incredible resilience and they stuck in, and they, 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 they played for 80 minutes and they managed to come away with a bonus point. And um, game two was no, no easier, you know, going across to the Bulls and Ayrshire. Um, it it was tough. Uh, we, you know, we, we fell out of the game around that third quarter, and here took a, a really strong advantage. Um, however, again, you know, testament to the players at Boroughmuir, they came back strong and they scored two late tries. And yeah, it was a bit of consolation, but um, you know, again, it's just said a, a little bit more about their, their character and their tenaciousness around wanting to, to work hard and achieve, um, which was nice, I guess, on Friday night to, to eventually you know, take a victory. I mean, there was 30 seconds at the end there that were pretty, um, you know, pretty torrid for, for the coaching team. Uh, it was pleasing to get the win um, and it's pleasing to have the performance uh, and have something to show, you know, in tangible terms, uh, having a win. But, uh, you know, I dare I say it, uh, 30 seconds was the difference between a win and a loss. The first two home games, the been on Friday night so far, was this a conscious decision that you made to um, have Friday night rugby? At the outset it was, yes. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a bit it's different. Um, Super 6 is different. Um, it was always going to be um, 
a change and I think for, for Borough Muir it, it fitted quite well, you know, that they've got, they've got a fantastic clubhouse, they've got a fantastic club, they've got fantastic facilities um, and it was trying to engage with the local community around something different that was maybe going to change their approach to rugby and um, take it away from the Saturday afternoon, three o'clock kickoffs, and, and do something slightly different with it because because Borough Muir can, they've got lights and they've got uh, you know the opportunity so uh, I think it's been, uh, been very successful for the club. It's been really pleasing that the club's really behind Super 6 and they're pushing really hard and, um, and hopefully that's a, a good sign for, for Borough Muir but also for the other clubs in the future.